So the other day, a Brazilian YouTuber whose name I forget made a video about me and my incredibly large dropped list on my anime list. Basically just going, what the hell, bro? What's with the dropped list? And, and sort of being incredulous at the idea that someone would drop so much anime, especially in so short of a time. In that video, um, I have a video on my mouth called Why Do You Drop So Much Anime? I talk about how I often drop shows in like five to ten minutes if it doesn't seem like it has anything appealing to me. And this dude was really going on and on about how he feels guilty about even dropping shows at all. He at least gives a three episode test to every show. And uh, I'm not even going to bother linking to this video because most of the argument was really stupid, but there's one line that really struck out at me that baffled me so much I decided to do math. And I hate math. He said, it's only an hour to do a three episode test. It only takes an hour. You don't even have an hour? And I thought, dude, my dropped list currently contains, let me look at it, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find, I have a, a shitload of numbers written down here. My drop list has like 758 shows on it. Now let's assume that all of those were shows I had given at least a three episode test, that I had given an hour, and granted, that's an hour if you're skipping the OP and ED, which people have to, you know, I don't know if he just didn't think about that, anime is 24 minutes long. But, you know, let's say I'm skipping the OP and ED on every episode. That is 758 hours. 758 hours of shows I didn't like. And granted, that might be the average anyway on my drop list, because there's plenty of shit on there I've seen way more of. I don't actually list stuff I dropped after 5 or 10 minutes. I list stuff I watched at least one episode of. Um, so there's plenty of shit on there that I've seen, you know already seen a significant amount of. To me, that represents a huge fucking waste of time. So I decided to figure out, how much time do you actually have? How many hours are in your life? How much time will you waste if you decide to do something like consume a bunch of art you don't like or care about? Um, how much of, that, of your life are you going to waste that you could be spending consuming art you do care about or literally doing anything else that might be better? So, we'll start with the U.S. life expectancy, which is 79 years as of 2015. So you got 79 years on this earth. Now I'm going to go ahead and write off the first 14 years because you're not going to remember that shit. That's time that you spent just becoming a person. You know, whatever art you consumed before you were 14, you probably won't even remember. You're, it's, it's a part of your life that's essentially, you know, useless once you get older. So we're just going to cut out 14 years. And say you've got 65 years of active time. This is time that you are you are actually deciding what you're doing with that time. And for some people, it's going to be less. And for some people, it might be a little bit more. Maybe when you were 12, you started scheduling everything really well. Or maybe you didn't even start thinking about how you were using your time until you were in your 20s. You know, I can't say for sure. And I mean, obviously, a lot of you aren't going to live 65 years. A lot of you are going to die randomly for no reason, maybe tomorrow. You know, you don't know when you're going to die. So we're just being extremely generous. Everything, uh, everything in my notes is very generous. You got 65 years of time you get to manage yourself, starting from when you're 14. That's 23,725 days, totaling 569,400 hours. Now, one third of that's going straight to sleep. So 189,800 hours straight to sleep. We're also going to give a third of it to work and or school. Now this number is going to be very different depending on who you are. For some people you might work two jobs and the number is even higher than that. For some people you might barely work at all or you just, I don't know, you live at home and you don't do shit, which I did for a, a year. You know, there's a good chance these numbers are different. But let's say for the sake of argument, for the sake of making it easy, you spend about a third of your life on work and or school. You're, it's probably going to feel that way, at the very least. That this is taking up a third of your life. So that's another 189,800 hours, leaving you with 189,800 hours left. Now let's say you spend about an hour a day on food, either eating it, preparing it, you know, you, you're probably going to spend an average of an hour a day eating. Um, might be a lot less for some people. Some people are all about maximizing their time. They're going to make a fucking workout shake in the morning and eat nothing but power bars all day and you don't spend any time eating or you're always doing something else while you're eating, multitasking, whatever. 
for me, it's about an hour on average a day, sometimes more. So I'm just going to list it as an hour. So we'll say that's an hour a day is 23,725 hours. Now you've got your commute. The average time for a commute in the U.S. is 25 minutes. So if you're driving 25 minutes there, 25 minutes back... That's 50 minutes just on the drive every day. I'm going to go ahead and round it up to an hour because you're probably spending time getting ready for your drive. You know, you got to get prepared before you go to work, which for some people is even longer. Some people spend a whole hour getting ready for work, you know, um, depending on how much shit you're doing. I mean, if you've got a morning routine that lasts an hour and a half, you can add even more onto this, you know. But again, I'm trying to be very generous with this thing. So let's say you spend an hour a day just in commute, in transit. You know, and there's definitely going to be days you spend more than that when you got to go somewhere and do something. But we're going to say an hour a day on that. So 23,725 hours on transit. Now let's talk about your chores that you're going to do in a week. Um, when you're 14, this won't be as big of a deal. But once you're older, you're going to have to buy groceries probably once a week. It usually takes about an hour. Uh, you're going to probably clean your house, you know, just do personal upkeep. You got to shower. Let's say you spend about four hours on chores and upkeep in a week. So four hours a week on chores, that's 13,557 hours total throughout your life. And uh, let's say you spend an hour a week taking a shit. For some of you, that's probably accurate. That's like the lowest number I can imagine per week is you spend an hour taking a shit. Uh, if you're like me and you read manga on the toilet, you probably spend at least two hours a week taking a shit. But we're saying it's an hour a week. That's 3,389 hours, leaving you with 125,404 hours to work with. That's how much time you've got. That's the maximum amount of time you've got on this earth to do whatever you want. No work, no sleep, no personal upkeep shit that you have to do just to stay alive. You got 125,404 hours. Now, let's say you decide you want to be physically fit throughout your life. You spend four hours a week on physical fitness, going to the gym, going for walks, stuff like that. You know, this is just a random, a random number. But let's just say you want to do that. Not all of you are going to do that. But let's say you want to do 13,557 hours on that. Um, now, let's say you're a gamer. You want to play, at the very least, the top 100 greatest games of all time. Chances are you're going to play a lot more than 100 games. Uh, I've personally, I'm not even that big of a gamer. I've beaten around 200 games. I've played around 700 games to at least some extent. Uh, but let's say you just beat the top 100 games of all time. Now I took, I went to a list of the top 11 games of all time as based on averages from like every magazine that's ever done a uh, top lists of all time. Um, there's a website that averages them all out and picks what are the top 10 going by all these lists combined. And it would take, to beat those top, it was, it was 11 because there were ties. To beat the top 11 games of all time, it takes 143 hours. Now, only one of those is a long form RPG, Final Fantasy 7, which takes about, uh, I think it was 37 hours, something like that. So if you're into RPGs, you're going to multiply all these numbers by a lot. But uh, 143 hours for the top 10, meaning it's probably about 1,430 hours for the top 100 games. So let's say you play the top 100 games. Let's take that off of our number here. Um, now, according to Peter Molyneux uh, and his book, 1,001 Games You Must Play Before You Die, you must play 1,001 games before you die. Uh, if you were to do that, and we kept these numbers average uh, for the entire 1,001, you will spend 14,300 hours. That is 11% of all of your time. 11% of all the free time you've got for the rest of your life will just be spent playing this 1001 Greatest Games. So if you're going to dedicate yourself to this, games would probably better be one of the most important things in your life. Now, let's say you want to watch the top 100 anime as listed on Mal. Now, I took the amount that's in the top 10. The top 10 anime on Mal accounted for 175.6 hours. So let's say you want to watch the top 100, you know, because you're big into anime. That's 1,756 hours to watch the top 100 anime. I'm just going with stuff I like. 
you know, I know I want to watch at least 100 anime, play at least 100 games, like the top, you want to see the top, you want to see the best ones, you know, the ones that are the most critically acclaimed, you're going to spend a lot of fucking time on this shit. Now, personally, I've already spent 5,383 hours on just anime I've, uh, well, all anime I've seen, that's what it says on Mal. I calculated it, I've, I've seen 5,000 hours of anime. Um... So that's probably like 5% of all the free time I will ever have in my life already. I'm only 26. And in the time since I was 14, you know, using this time I've got allowed to me, I've already spent 5% of all the time I will ever have on anime. So if I continue at the rate I'm going, let's see, I didn't do the math for this, but let's say I've been watching anime for 12 years because um, we're starting from 14. I've been watching anime for longer, but we're starting from that number. So let's say 12 years and 65 divided by 12 would be like, what, 5? Something like that. I can't fucking do math, guys. I don't know how to do math. So we'll just say I'm probably going to spend like 25% of all the free time I have in my life if I keep going at the same rate I've been going. 25% um, of all the free time I ever have will be spent on anime. That's a lot. That's a fourth of all the time I have to not be working or, uh, or sleeping or eating, you know. So this is a huge amount of time, you know. Let's say you want to listen to all the top 100 best albums. That's 67 hours because albums average about 40 minutes. You know, uh, let's say you want to read all of A Song of Ice and Fire. That's 100 hours. I found, I found statistics on how long it takes on average to read these books. 100 hours on Song of Ice and Fire. You've already spent 60 hours if you read all of Harry Potter. Um, 43 hours on the Bible. Most people who read the Bible read it more than once, I think. Um, 167 hours for the top 100 movies, assuming that they're all about 100 um, minutes long, because that's the average length of a film. You know, I've watched every episode of The Biggest Problem in the Universe podcast and The uh, the Dick Show. Both of those are podcasts, so I'm usually doing something else on the side, but that's about 150 hours each. If you watch all of the Digibro content that is available online, there is over 1,000 hours of Digibro content online. So you've got a whole 1,000 hours just of me if you're a big enough fan that you want to consume all the Digibro content. That's not even counting a lot of extra shit. You know, if you were listening to, like, my old radio show, The Pub Crawl, like, or if you were, if you listen to my patron-exclusive podcasts, which aren't even counted in these numbers. So, over a thousand hours of Digibro content out there. I've probably watched over a thousand hours of the fucking Game Grumps, or at least had it on in the background for about that long. I mean, I didn't even account for YouTube time. I probably spend, like, two hours a day watching YouTube videos, so that's a whole other, like, what, uh almost 50,000 hours for the rest of my life. So, in other words, you don't have that much time. Like, even if you do, like, th this is, again, sticking to, we're trying to, like, consume just the best stuff, right? You just want to watch the top 100 anime, just play the top 100 video games, or the top 1,000. Like, that's a dedication. And, and mind you, this is just accounting for stuff that's already out. You know, every year, there's going to be a new addition to video games you should play before you die, anime you should watch before you die. So, you know, over time, it's not like you're, you're ever going to have a chance where all of this just stops and you can just catch up on all of it. No, it will always be more. It will always be more shit you have to do. More shit creeping up on you from behind. More shit that you're never going to get to. And you're never going to get to a lot of this, you know. So, I want to spend my... Let's... 125,000 is a, is a, like, that's not even accounting for the amount of time I spend just staring at the wall every day, or having sex every day, or doing something, anything else, anything other than consume media every day, um, you know, take all that out, and we're dr dropping my number significantly, where suddenly it takes a lot more than 11% of the time I have left to play a thousand video games. And I want to do that. I want to see all the best stuff. That's a thousand games that you're supposed to play before you die. That's not accounting for all the other video games that you're going to play. Because you're going to play shitty games. You're going to play, watch shitty anime. You just got to stop yourself as soon as you realize that you're wasting time. You got to stop and go, wait, wait, how many hours do I have left? I'm, what, I'm, I'm 26, so let me cut off 
you know, another 12 years off of that, uh, off of that time that I gave myself at the beginning, I didn't even do this math. I, there's too much math. You know, I'm, uh, what's, I'm, I'm a third of my way through my life, I think. I got, I got about 80 years. I'm, I'm a little over a fourth of the way through my life, you know? Somewhere between a fourth and a third of my life has already been, has already been done. I'm done with that. Am I going to spend any more of that time watching anime that I already know I'm not going to like just because of some weird obligation, some weird, like, guilt that people feel about not finishing a show that has nothing to do with you? It doesn't, you know, it, it, you have no obligation to anything, to any, you don't have to watch any anime or play any video games. You don't have to do anything. You know, let, you get into fucking some shit. You can play one video game for 11% of your life. Get into fucking World of Warcraft or Overwatch or something, and you've already sunk months, probably. You know, I have friends who've, who've spent literal months on single games. I'm just... There's just not that much time. You know, there's really not... You don't have an hour to spare for everything. You don't have an hour for every random thing. You know, if, if some if some dude walked up to you in the street and started rambling at you about a bunch of shit you don't want to hear, do you feel like you owe that guy an hour to figure out whether or not what he's saying might interest you? Because that's what you're telling me to do by watching every anime for at least an hour. You know, like every show. Because I watch every show. I sample every show. That's why the drop list is so big. I have to give everything a try. You don't know what's going to be cool, you know? Every guy who walks up to you, hey, maybe he's about to buy you a beer. You gotta give it a try, but it doesn't take more than five minutes to realize if the guy is fucking schizophrenic and, uh, ram like, bleeding out of his face or something, like the people who walk up to you in L.A. Um, <laughs> so, like, yeah, I think you get my point. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough time to fuck around with all this extra bullshit, you know? The idea of feeling guilty about not giving a show at least an hour is insane to me. You don't have that hour.